welcome to Library Land, and thank you for joining me for this episode of Summertime STEM. So today we're going to do something a little special. We're going to combine art and science to make a really cool watercolor painting. Now for anyone who doesn't know, Miss Solari is not artistic. It's not my strong suit, but anytime I could use a little science behind it, I'm all for it. So what we're going to do today is called a watercolor transfer, and it's going to use the property of science called diffusion where particles are transferred from higher concentration to lower concentration. So what you need for this art and science project is some washable markers, a plastic sandwich bag or plastic sheet, and a piece of thick cardstock, and lastly a cup of water and either a spray bottle or a little paintbrush like I have here. If you have a larger sheet like mine, this is what some of our books come in here at the library, you could fold it to make your watercolor transfer just like I'm doing because you want to be able to press it down onto your cardstock. So what you're going to do is you're going to make whatever pattern or whatever design you want on the plastic. So I'm going to take some blue, because blue reminds me of the ocean, and it's summertime. And then I'm gonna flip it like so. I'm gonna put a little more blue in the other corner. Reminds me a little bit of fireworks from the 4th of July. Now, in between my blue, I'm gonna sandwich in some other really fun colors. I love the way purple looks with blue. I'm gonna move my marker in a different direction just to give my watercolor project a little more interest. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Gonna take some yellow to remind me of the sun and I'm gonna make some swirls. And then lastly, I'm gonna take some green. Okay, before I transfer it, to my paper, I'm gonna move it to the side carefully. I'm gonna take my paint brush and I'm just gonna carefully brush down, whoops, my cardstock. You might wanna lay down some newspaper because your table's gonna get a little wet. It doesn't need to be crazy, overly saturated. You're just wetting it a little bit. And what you're going to do next is very, carefully press this down onto the wet paper and if you you're going to really want to start in the corners and then just work your way down you're going to want to hold that for a few seconds. We're going to let this stay. So here's one that I did earlier when I peeled it off and it dries, you get a beautiful watercolor pattern. Let's peel this off and see how it works. Oh wow, ladies and gentlemen. I love this one even more than my first one. I can't wait to see how it dries. So this is a watercolor painting using science through the art of diffusion. And if we look, when the water and the ink from the marker met, it transferred to the paper. This is Miss Solari from Library Land signing off. I can't wait to see some of your creations. Bye-bye.